Hi, my name is Brian Caffo. I'm a professor in the Department of Biostatistics at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, and this is the lecture on Slidify in the Coursera Data Science Specialization, part of the Data Products class. This class and all the other classes in the specialization are co-taught with my co-instructors, Jeff Leek and Roger Pang. Okay, so what is Slidify? Slidify is a way to create data-centric presentations. It was created by Remnith, who's a friend of ours and we like quite a bit, um, and it streamlines this process of creating and, present and creating presentations so that if you update data or update functions, um, that, that all you have to do is recompile the presentation and it gets updated as well. So what Slidify really is, is it's a, an amalgamation of Knitter, Markdown, um, a bunch of JavaScript libraries, and HTML5 slide decks. Um, so you might have seen, if you're very familiar um, with some modern HTML um, presentations, um, there's kind of a thriving community developing very nifty HTML slide, uh, HTML5 slide decks, and Slidify is leveraging that and then making it so that you don't have to sort of know all the ins and outs of, of HTML5 and JavaScript, that you can just do it directly in R. Um, Slidify is very customizable and it's easy to use because you basically write in Markdown, which if you haven't used Markdown before, it's a tremendously simple, watered-down version of HTML. Or not version of HTML, watered-down sort of HTML type language. Um, so Slidify uh, allows embedded code chunks um, that render quite nicely. It also allows uh, mathematical formulas and what that really means is that the JavaScript library MathJax correctly renders the um, mathematical formulas and you type them out in LaTeX. So if you're an academic like me and you're used to LaTeX, that's really great. Um, so anyway, Slidify presentations when you're done are just HTML files. So you can view them with any web browser and you can share them very easily. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice way to, to, to give a presentation. I find it's actually quite nice when I go give presentations to do them in Slidify um, because usually there's already a computer at the lectern and I just go to a website. I usually um, host the Slidify presentation off directly off of GitHub and so I usually don't even have to bring a, a, a drive to transfer my presentation on. Okay, so uh, getting Slidify. So it's super easy. Um, fire up R or R Studio. I like to do it in R Studio. Um, make sure you have DevTools installed, which is on CRAN, so if you, if you, um, you can do install.packages to get DevTools. Um, oh, in fact, uh, here's the command right there. Um, and then you want to make sure it's loaded, so library DevTools. Then you need to install Slidify. Slidify's Ramnith is really um, developing very actively, so he doesn't seem to put it on CRAN. He's, it's still on GitHub. So you can do install.github, which is a function from DevTools and Slidify, and that's the username that it's looking for in GitHub. And then Slidify Libraries is just uh, exactly as it sounds, a bunch of library files that Slidify needs to run. And then you load Libraries Slidify. So now let's start creating some slides. Um, so uh, you, you, can, you should start by setting the working directory into the project where you want the, the project to be contained. Um, I, you know, I actually kind of like doing this in our studio now. Instead of doing set WD, I um, just do session and then set um, setting the to working directory to the file that I'm working on. Um, um, so create your project name and 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 you can you can type all the commands in to for a basic Slidify document, but I find it easier is to just use the so-called author command. And if you just do author first deck, it'll kind of populate a somewhat empty Slidify document for you for you to start filling in. It'll put in a little bit just to remind you what the commands are. Um, so what does it do? What does it cause to happen? Well, a, a directory name of your project is created inside your current directory. Um, inside of this directory is an assets directory and a file, uh, a file called index.rmd. That's the markdown file that you'll edit to create your Slidify documents. Um, and then the assets directory is populated with a bunch of empty folders uh, for CSS. Uh, the, that's the style sheets, um, image files, JavaScripts, and layouts, JavaScript code and layouts. Um, and so what you're going to do is, is 
um, populate this R markdown file and then run Slidify to run it. Um, so, um, so any any of the customization you should put in those directories. And if you're not really terribly familiar with web development, um, then I wouldn't bother with those. You can just sort of dig around for style and maybe um, use other people's open source style files. Um, but if you really know, then that's where you would dig around. Okay.